I need $5,000. Can you give it to me? Whoa, that's a lot. You know we don't have that kind of money. What is it for? Ugh, oh, can't you scrap off the remaining balance in the savings account? I need it. You know those are all we have left. We can't use the money impulsively. We don't have much and we're depending a lot on whether my painting can do well or not. You don't work as well. Excuse me? Are you trying to hint that I should work? Mel, that's not what I'm saying. Oh, of course. Yada, yada, yada. You're the good guy and I'm the bad guy. If I knew you'd be poor, I would have never married you. Seriously, what the hell, Joey? We had so much then, so much. I could spend as much as I want and everyone would be jealous of me. Oh, look at Melissa. She married the Joey King. Now, I couldn't even admit to anyone that we're married. It's so pathetic. Get your life together. Mel, you know that this isn't on purpose. I didn't know that I was going to be diagnosed with cancer and I didn't know that it would take a lot from us. But I'm cancer free now. Isn't that enough of a good news? Make some money and that would be enough good freaking news. Seriously, I'm sick of driving that stupid small car and live in a stupid apartment. I'm trying, Mel. It's difficult for painting to sell nowadays as the industry has broadened and there are so many new faces. I'm trying to catch up. My style of painting isn't so popular anymore. Well, then make it popular. Do something. I'm honestly on my last straw. If nothing changes by this month, that's it. I'm leaving you. My father will kill you if he knows you make me suffer this way. Mel, please don't say that. You know how hard I'm trying for the both of us. I promise you, something good will come. Hello there, our future noble painter winner. Oh, uh, wrong number? <laughs> come on, Joe. You're so out of touch with the industry now. You've got to get back on your feet. Oh man, I didn't know that I have two wives. First Melissa, and now you? I really am trying, it's just really difficult. I tried to submit my paintings to exhibitions, museums, even made a few calls, but... Meh, all are vain. Even my networks don't really help much anymore. I just really need a good exposure to expose my talent once again, but it's really hard. That's why you need to participate in the Noble Painter competition. Come on! I thought those are for like, I don't know, beginners? Well, they tweak the rules a little bit for this time and it's even more advanced. You should be able to compete. The competition will be divided into a few stages as well, from first stage to final stage. Five stages in total. It starts with 30 painters and the number gets lower for every stage as they will eliminate people for each stage. Up until the final stage where only two people can compete. It's going to be intense. The winner gets a project throughout the year and... It? A million dollars! Cash! No way! Are you serious? I can really use that amount of money, especially with Melissa nagging me about how I'm not the same anymore. Don't listen to her, man. You're great and you went through a lot. Look, I'm sure this competition will benefit you. It will benefit the host too. I mean, you're Joey King. Right, I guess it benefits those journalists too, so they can write articles on how pathetic Joey King is and how he's making a comeback in amateur competition. Come on, if you let that get to you, then you never end up anywhere. Hush, we're out there. If you can beat cancer, you can beat anything. You're right, I'll join the competition. Thanks, Jean. All the best, honey. Please get that $1 million for us. Oh, all the things I can buy with that money. You're an amazing painter, so the competition should be easy. But don't make it look too easy though, okay? We don't want to scare the other competitors. Hi, Mel. Thank you for your sweet wishes. I hope everything will go smoothly. I know I've been in the industry for some time, but that doesn't mean there are not other more talented people than me. Oh, come on, honey. Have hope. You're Joey King. Aren't you coming to the venue? I thought you watched me live. Oh, I can't. I'm at my friend's house right now. Sorry, I forgot I made a promise to her that I'd accompany her today. Hey, no worries. I'll go when you make it to the final stage, okay? <laughs> we'll see, I guess. 
Congrats on making through the first stage, man. I watched you on TV. Hey, thanks, Jean. The competition was slightly harder than I thought. No way. You were great. I mean, sure, the other girl was also kind of okay, but nah, nothing better than yours. Kind of okay? Dude, she was amazing. I was so impressed with her style of painting. It's not like what young talents would do nowadays. It's so classic. Even her selection of the color palette, the brushes, and the way her head moves when she stroke her brushes. It was amazing. I wonder who her teacher is. Wow, I didn't know you paid that much attention to the other competitors. You should do that less next time. Come on, Joey. You need to focus on your paintings. Don't look at others. You're right. I was just genuinely impressed. It reminded me of my style when I was younger and just starting out in the industry. Such raw yet so soft talent. Well, I bet a huge amount of money for you to win, so you better. Jeez, Jean, you have got to stop gambling and all that. Get back to the industry. Perhaps you should join this competition next year, huh? Nah, I don't roll that way anymore. It's not my thing. Well, with a try. So much closer to that money, aren't you, honey? Well, that's not really my priority. I just want to make the best painting. I want people to know that I still have the skills in me, you know? Yeah, yeah, and all that. Whatever. What? Nothing. It's just, please, I need the money, okay? You need to make it to the final round. You have to. Please focus and don't mess this one up. The judge really likes you, so you have a very high chance of winning. Don't screw it up. I don't know about that. I mean, the other girl, Hannah Blake, is also really good. Judges really love her as well. We were only two points short during the last stage. Oh, that stupid teenager. Why did they even let her end? Can she wait more years? I'm sick of looking at her smug face on TV. What do you mean? She's a nice kid, Mel. Don't judge her too soon. I've spoken to her a few times. She's a fan of my work. She actually know who I am despite disappearing from the industry for a bit. Oh, honey, that's just her way of making you feel important. Then maybe she's gonna try to manipulate you into letting her win. I have no kids like her. You're overthinking this, Mel. Hedda is fine. Her art style is amazing. Whatever. Make sure you win, okay? Are you not coming to see me again? Come to think about it, she never came to any of my competitions. Well, I told you I'd come to the final, so you got to make it to the final, okay? Make me proud. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to now then. <laughs> now that's my man. Seriously, what the hell is going on? I'm telling you, mark my words, that kid knows someone inside. There's no way she made it to the final with the same points as you. Ridiculous. Hey, hey, you're overthinking this. She made it fair and square. Have you not seen her painting? It's amazing. She's really good at it. Oh, just shut up about her good paintings already. Do you not realize how bad this can be for us? If that kid wins, we're not going to get the money and we're still going to be living in this freaking slump. Well, it's fine. I've had enough exposure just being in a competition. I'm sure that I can easily get more projects and, and exhibitions after this. Are you freaking kidding me, Joey? I don't care about your stupid exposure, okay? I don't want to wait any longer for you to make it big again while promising that you will make me happy over and over again. If you don't win that freaking money, then we're over. I can't live this life anymore. Melissa, calm down. You're being irrational. Of course I'm going to do my best in the competition, but the end result isn't up to me. I've tried my best regardless, and isn't that good enough? It is only good enough when you beat that stupid kid out of the competition and win the money. Otherwise, all of these efforts are a waste of time. She can win, Joey. She cannot win. Why does it get her agent that much money anyway, huh? I'm sure she doesn't care about it as much as you do. Oh, so you're saying it's my fault for wanting to be rich again? Look, Melissa, that's enough. I don't want to have this argument. I'm tired. I'm just trying my best out here, and all I'm saying is if Hannah wins, then I'm happy for her. 
She deserves it. She's very good. What an idiot! Nope, Joey. She's not gonna win. I promise you that. What do you mean? Just focus on your paintings. Okay. When can I see you? You're not coming home tonight, Melissa. Well, okay. Guess you have fallen asleep. Dude, you're so right. That girl is pretty good, huh? Told you since the first day. She has natural talent. Genuinely never seen someone that good at such a young age before. Well, except me. <laughs> Come on, you're still the best. You can't lose to a kid. You've been in the industry longer. I wouldn't really think of it as such. I don't care about winning or losing anymore. You can't say. You have to beat this kid. Losing to her might actually ruin your reputation. Unless... Or this what? I don't know, here and there, articles, rumors, you know. I actually don't know what you're trying to say. I'm just saying, I know a couple of people in the media industry. Some dirt articles on her might help you win. Maybe something like her cheating or something? Who knows? Hold on, are you suggesting that I accuse this girl of cheating? What? Well, not directly. We can act like it's some sort of anonymous tip, you know. I know a few journalists that would be willing to help me spice the story up. If we release the article before the final stage in a few days, she might not have that much public love anymore. Maybe they'll hate her enough for her to be leaving the competition. Gee, are you crazy? That's absolutely ridiculous and so, so wrong. I am not going to sabotage a kid who's following her dreams just so I can win the competition. What is up with you? Dude, I'm just trying to help, okay? I know you need the money, I was just giving some suggestions. Plus, how are you so sure that she isn't already cheating? A kid her age painting that well? Nah, maybe she has some insider tips or whatever on what the team is or something. Who knows? Stuff like this happens a lot, you know? You're not an amateur in the industry. Exactly! I'm not an amateur, so why should I be trying to sabotage a kid just so I can win? That's just horrible! I will win fair and square, and if I don't, that's totally fine. Seriously, what is up with you and Melissa? Why are you both so obsessed with the idea of me winning? Come on, be better, Jean. Jeez, I was trying to help. Saying no is enough. There's no need for all that. Well, there you go. No thank you, Jean. I don't need your help. Okay then, good luck losing to a kid. Is this Joey King? Hello, yes, who is this? You stupid piece of crap. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? If you are so scared of losing the competition, then you could just withdraw. There's no need to act so extreme by putting my child in danger. First, you sent your wife to try and break her arm so that she can draw anymore? Well, tell your stupid wife that she broke the wrong arm. My girl pinched with her left hand and she would paint just fine. Oh, and you sent out all those rumors about her cheating and having inside connections so that she'd make it far in the competition? Are you freaking kidding me? You know that's not true. You know she has natural talent. Now we have freaking art enthusiasts outside of our door and bashing us. My poor child couldn't even get rest despite having a broken arm thanks to you. What is wrong with you? You are a grown man. Act like one. I've always known that you are such a loser. Whoa, what the heck is going on? What are you even talking about? I swear I'm not involved in any of this. Do I know you? What do you mean I've always been a loser? What? Is Hannah okay? Hello? What the hell did you do? Did you really try and hurt Hannah? Are you out of your damn mind, Melissa? I was helping you, okay? Don't you dare get angry at me. If you are just slightly good at your job, then we would have to go through this. Serve that stupid kid right. They have no proof that it's me. Look, listen honey, her arm is broken. That's all that matters, okay? You don't have to worry anymore. We're gonna get the money. You are crazy, Mel. That is a crime. Her mom literally knows it's you. How do you think you're gonna get away with this? No one is gonna believe that skank. I was fully covered. They're not gonna know it's me. Look, it doesn't matter, okay? We can get the money and run away somewhere. What? Run away? What are you talking about? I'm building my career here, Mel, and you just ruined it. Well, you know what? Joke's on you. She's still gonna be part of the competition tonight. That's not possible. <laughs> I saw it broke, Joey. She won't be able to. 
She uses her left hand male, not her right hand. Perhaps if you actually care to watch me in a competition, you would know. What? No, 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 she can't join the competition. You know what? It's fine. No one likes her. The articles, the articles, they all hate her. What? You were involved in the article too? I thought that was Jean's stupid idea. We both did it together for you, honey. We want you to win. Since when are you so close to Jean? We love you, okay? We just want you to be successful again. Oh, cut the crap, Mel. You know that's not true. You should be ashamed of yourself. Hey, man, look. Shut up, Jean. I asked you not to do it. You did it anyway. You are freaking pathetic. Look, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Mistake? Screw you, you ruined a kid's life! Are you out of your freaking mind? What the hell did you just do? Why did you withdraw? Our money! Our money, Joey! I waited all this time for you to win the competition and you give it to that stupid child? Why did she stay in a hospital? Why did they even allow such a poor kid to participate in such elite competition? You don't deserve that money, Mel, especially after everything that you have done. It's pathetic. You don't deserve anything. How could you hurt a child like that? You're an adult. Are you that blinded by money that you don't have any sympathy anymore? I'm embarrassed of the way that you behave. Are you out of your senses? That money is my only chance to be rich again and you gave it to that kid? What is wrong with you? Why are you so obsessed with the money? Why would I be? Who are you without all that money? You are nothing but a shit painter. You're out of your mind, Melissa. Hey, sorry for all the curse words I thrown at you earlier today. I was losing it. I can't see my child getting hurt. She's all I have and I've been taking care of her alone since she was a baby. It's difficult seeing her get hurt just because she wants to pursue her dream. In fact, it is ridiculous that it's coming from a well-known painter's wife. I'm thankful for what you did, and I will forever be grateful. I really didn't expect you to do that. I guess you could say that I was truly wrong about you. I thought you were this snobbish and evil painter who only care about fame, and I really thought you were the one behind all this stupid mockeries of my daughter. Hey, don't worry about it. I hope Hannah is doing great. Honestly, that's the least I can do with all those crazy things going on. Trust me, I really have nothing to do with what happened. In fact, I was genuinely shocked that it happened. I believe that Hannah is truly talented and she does deserve to win. Whatever they did to her is totally unacceptable. I won't ever forgive my wife for it. Sorry, I know this is random, but I just have to ask. I know Hannah's last name is Blake. I mean, what are the coincidences? But are you Stephanie Blake from Lakeville High School? Oh, yeah. I thought you would notice me. So, it is you. Wow, have you known that it's me all along? Of course I do. Who doesn't know Joey King? That's crazy. I can't believe we're talking again. You sort of just disappeared before, so many years ago. Yeah. Look, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you did such a wonderful thing earlier and I feel like you should know this. Did something happen? I work at the casino where Jean is often gambling. I mean, he doesn't recognize me or anything, but I do recognize him. Okay, I'm not sure where this is going. Well, your wife and him, they gamble together. I mean, I think they're even closer than that. I sometimes heard them talk about wanting to run away once they get the money from the competition. Wait, what? Are you sure about this? Yes, I am. I have no reason to lie to you. It all makes sense now. No wonder they want me to win so badly to the point of trying to ruin Hannah's life. I promise you, Steph, they won't get away with this. Well, thank you for what you did. You're a great father. I don't have any kids yet. You actually do. Hannah's talent? Ever wondered where she got it from? What? I'm confused. Are you saying... Yes, Hannah is your daughter. 16 years ago, we got into a very bad argument and I disappeared when I figured that I got pregnant because I was scared that you were going to ask me to get rid of it. 
you were young and were getting so much recognition for your paintings and I thought you'd be scared that having kids so young would ruin that. I know it's crazy to only be telling you this years later, but I was lost. I didn't know if you wanted a child or not. I didn't know whether you love her the same way as I love her. Steph, I didn't know this at all. That's not so true. I would not ask you to get rid of it. I really loved you then. I was heartbroken when you left. I thought you hated me. Hannah. No wonder it all seems familiar. I mean, her painting, her skills, just everything reminds me of who I was. I would have loved her just as much as I loved you then. I would be responsible for everything. I would never abandon you the way you think I would. That's ridiculous. I kept all your paintings when I left, and she had been using it as a reference to practice, since I couldn't afford to pay for an actual class. She really looked up to you. Does she know? Well, no, but she has always wished to have someone like you as a father. I was going to tell her when she turns 18, but I wasn't expecting you guys to meet during the competition. Maybe it's time to tell her. Look, I'm not asking you to be responsible or anything. I want to be, Steph. I have been missing 16 years of my daughter's life. I want to be in it now. When Steph told the truth to Hannah regarding her biological father, Hannah was more than happy. She was so grateful that someone that she had looked up to all these years turned out to be her father. Joey and Hannah got close to each other really quickly. As for Melissa, upon knowing that she had been cheating on Joey with Jean, Joey went to the police and reported her crime of assaulting Hannah with a video proof given by staff. She was then arrested for the crime. Afraid of being alone, Melissa exposed Jean's black market business where he smuggled illegal drugs to the country, leading to his arrest as well. Steph and Joey started getting close to each other again, rekindling the old times they had left open.